we're asking people about fame and and what happened what fame uh, what role fame plays in people's lives and you and you're probably the best person here to ad address this Me? issue because because you you're the sister of a woman who is so famous and so fame people think well it's great for everybody but it sets a standard that's almost unreachable. Um, I guess. I mean, you know, everybody has their level. I, my sister is iconic. She's a legend. You know, uh, and I think that's phenomenal. I myself, I'm not a, an icon, but I love doing what I do. You're a great singer. Yes, I'm a singer. I'm an actress. But what I'm doing these days with my own soul searching is I want to help heal the country. So everything I do is aimed at bringing the people together with their voices. I just released a new single. It's digital on uh, CD Baby and across the board. It's a cover of Laura Nero's Save the Country. Arrangement totally out of the box with a great video, a powerful video to go with it on YouTube. I'm proud of it. I want it to get out there. I want it to make a positive difference in this world. Oh, that's very nice. I do you have any kind of relationship with Elliot Gould, Jason's father? Uh, of course I love Elliot. I've always, I've, it's always been so wonderful to me. From the days I, when I was a little kid, and he was asking me how many nephews and nieces I wanted, and I came up to barely his wa the waist. And today, I mean, it's like he brought me with him onto Saturday Night Live and introduced me as my son Jason's Aunt Rozzy. And I love that, because I love my family. And he is my, my nephew's dad, and I... I love all my family. Was there something special about Brooklyn? Do you think that has produced that kind of talent, or is it just was it just uh, coincidence that people were in New York and the record companies were there? I, I you know I have no idea. I don't know if it's anything special. I think it's in the person and what they want to do and what they go after. You know what I mean? Because at first I thought I was going to be a math teacher when I was in eighth grade. But I always spent so much time singing and alone and performing in the mirror and creating ballets for myself from the music from Exodus and whatever. I love to perform. But I never did it in front of the public until I actually went into the business. You mentioned the theme from Exodus. Why does that song have special meaning? Because it's, it's majestic. It's people fighting for their rights to their homeland. I did it one year at a cantor's convention at one of the temples here in Los Angeles and the cantors gave me a standing ovation. You should only know my mother was so proud. She didn't care about anybody else's standing ovation. The cantors gave you a standing ovation. Do you perform it anymore? Uh, no, I haven't. That was a special event. But I love, I love the tune and I love every time to see the movie I have to turn it on. I'm a, I love biblical films. In general. Do you know who wrote the lyrics to that song? Pat Boone. Who? Pat Boone. A Gentile? Yes. He took a great deal of pride in that. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I think we all have to. I think we're all brothers. We're all sisters. We have the same blood. We come from the same light above. Whether you want to call it God or the universe, whatever it is to you. If we all come from that place that's within us, that's a part of that God, we have to have a great world. My pleasure.